Hi, Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Scorpio for the month of September 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the death card, the nine of wands, and the two of cups. It looks like some of you guys are just really exhausted and tired, like straight up, Virgos. But it does look at the same time that you guys may may have put an end to this relationship with the death card, the six of cups, the ace of cups, and the high priestess energy. You guys listening to your intuition. You guys listening to your emotions. You guys feeling out the emotions as well. Obviously, you guys are feeling it, and you're just feeling really bad, and maybe even feeling a little bit sad or overwhelmed regarding the ending between you and your Scorpio. But I do believe that you guys, once you guys can talk to each other, talk to each other, communicate with each other, I do believe things can actually work out. You guys are very lucky honestly you're very lucky you guys got the ace of cups the ace of wands the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles like you have every single tool and every suit on you guys in order to make whatever it is that you guys want to make regarding your relationship between you and scorpio if you want to make it you can make it all right but i do see that you guys need a little bit of time and a little bit of patience your emotions might be overwhelming or they're overflowing too much but just because you're agony what's agony you guys might be going through some sort of agony some sort of pain you're just tired and exhausted from what i'm seeing virgos and it's almost as if like you don't have time to keep fighting for a relationship between the two of you guys but eventually you guys will be able to come and unite together with the six of wands to the two of cups the king of cups and the nine of coins obviously this person likes you they're interested in you they want to be with you you guys are this beautiful swan looking like gorgeous freaking goddess like look at you guys look how beautiful she is she's so beautiful look how handsome he is like both of you guys are matching each other's beauty and matching each other's like character okay they see you like this person may even want to just spoil you and put a lot of jewelry on you just because just because they know that you deserve it the most so you guys are going to get the truth and the clarity that you need ace of swords you guys have the ignition, 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 turning on the car ignition. Maybe there's something wrong with the car ignition with the Knight of Wands to the Five of Pentacles and somebody doesn't have the money, 222 two, two, doesn't have the money to actually get the car fixed. Ignition, ignite. I think it is the ignition. Somebody might be having ignition problems coming in with the Knight of Wands to the Ace of Wands. They're saying once you go get that fixed, you'll be just fine, but there might be having to cost a little bit of money, maybe more money than you actually anticipated. If you can fix it yourself, fix it yourself. If you know how to be a mechanic, go on and go be a mechanic <laughs> for the day. But even then, it's like when this person comes back, they need to understand that they're not going to sleep with you. They have to come back and they have to come back correctly with the Knight of Wands or the Five of Pentacles. If they continuously come back and want to sleep with you, that's not what you're looking for anymore. So you're going to put your foot down, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and you're going to let them know, Virgos, that you're looking for a relationship where it doesn't always have to be based on uh, sleeping with each other. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, you guys want to water a relationship that's going to be longevity. You don't have no problem. Even if it takes forever, even if it takes forever to create a relationship between the two, you don't mind that. You don't have a problem being patient. That patient stuff, you watering, you nurturing, you feeding your water, you you feeding the plants, you giving it love, you putting it in the sun, you know, whatever. You're okay with that because what you're looking for is something to be really abundant in the end with the Seven of Pentacles. And maybe Virgo, you guys might have to go into Hermit for a second to really decide what your next moves are going to be. Ask the angels to help you and allow them to intervene in this relationship between the two of you guys. Because once you guys inter once you allow, excuse me, once you guys allow the angels to intervene into your relationship with the, so annoying Virgos. With the six of coins, once you guys allow this, once you guys allow the relationship, oh my god, oh my fucking gosh, <laughs> once you guys go into hermit and you're having to decide which way to go, they're asking you, call in on the angels, the angels are going to be able to help you guys out, to help you inter allow them to intervene so they can give you the help and the support that you guys are looking for, because clearly you're trying to figure it out and you can't get there with the four of swords of the king of swords, eventually you guys will come through, maybe you guys need to ask Archangel Michael to help you guys out in this situation so that way... The angel Michael can give you the clarity that you guys are looking for. You guys are like these big ass bears, these fucking cute big ass bears. Big ass bear, why are you so sad? So maybe you guys are like a teddy bear. Maybe you guys are like really like these really cutie pies, but it's like your heart is really fucking mushy and you're really sensitive too. 
but their spirit and the angels are asking you, ask us for help, and we'll be jumping for you no matter what, right? Ten of Cups, the five, five of Cups, obviously a lot of sadness, a lot of cup energy, a lot of feelings involved in this, a lot of emotions involved in this, and a lot of sadness. Maybe during the full moon, you guys are going to be spending some time down by the water, but this is going to give you guys the opportunity of releasing the emotions that no longer serve you and then bringing in abundance. Maybe during the full moon, they're going to ask you guys uh, to release all negativity and create abundance and happiness and a prosperity for you because you're already there. But it's like as no matter how, ha for whatever reason, Virgos, no matter how happy you are, it's still you're still lonely. You're still sad. Right. So. Knight of Pentacles, so they're coming in, they want to work on the relationship, it's going to be during the full moon Virgos, okay, they, they're going to put in the effort, they're going to put in the work, they want to make it work, they want this relationship with you, they're coming in with purity, they're coming in lightheartedly with the horse energy too, the energy of the white horse is white, and that coming in, like they're coming with integrity, passion, love, purity, innocence, integrity, okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, judgment card. So they're making the decision that they want to release anything that is not serving them anymore, the magician card and the emperor card. So they're going to take responsibility and 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 they're going to take responsibility and they're going to create what they need to create with the magician card. They have all the tools anyway within them to have what they want. They just need to take control and they need to take leadership in this relationship in order for them to have you and be with you. If that means they need to release some things that are not serving them anymore, that's exactly what they're going to do. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the justice card. I do believe some of you guys are going to be able to balance and work on this relationship just fine. Somebody here is also going to be traveling to go see their family. Have fun, Virgos. Don't let nothing get in the way. Uh, it's very frustrating for me when the energy goes fucking foggy and, and blurry like this. It's very fucking annoying. Like, I always yell at Samsung tablets and stuff like that. Like, you guys are like, fuck you and your tablets. Your fucking tablets fucking suck. Yeah. Don't, I wouldn't recommend getting a Samsung tablet. Like, if you guys are going to get one, get a fucking iPhone or a, a, a tablet, an, a, an Apple one. That's the next one I got to get. But, <laughs> yeah, fuck this. Like, fuck this. They ain't shit. They ain't shit. It is what it is. They really fucking with my work, and I don't like that. So... With the three of wands. So yeah, I, I promised them, Virgo. I said to Samsung, I told, I yelled at them. And I said to them, I was like, I'm going to, I promise you, I'm going to tell everybody on my YouTube channel that you guys got some fucked up devices. <laughs> oh my God. What I mean by that, I, I yell at the tablet because everything is recorded. Like they can hear everything. You know that, right? So I <laughs> I, 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 I swore on it that I, if they keep fucking around with my videos, I'm going to tell all of YouTube, don't fucking buy their device. <laughs> I swear to God, I fucking did it. And you guys are not going to buy their shit because their shit fucking sucks. Uh, I, don't give, I don't give a fuck how good it looks. It fucking sucks. Okay, coming in with the ten of coins, Virgos. You guys might be going to visit some sort of family or whatever. They're saying like, go, go, go on and go have some fun. Uh, you guys are going to be receiving a message from your Virgo or vice versa. But it looks like you guys are going to be just fine. You guys are going to have a good time. And that is like literally you guys are going towards your ten of cups. You guys are leaving certain things behind and it is what it is. Uh, you guys might end up having to communicate to the Virgo and letting them know exactly how you feel. But it might be during the new moon energy. You guys might end up seeing something or sensing something that's going to be coming in. Whether it's going to be through some sort of vision or whether it's going to be some sort of download or whether it's going to be through a dream or whatever. You're going to see something that may have been a little bit deceptive. You're not going to like it. You guys are going to see a wolf or even a coyote or even a fox. Whatever it is that you guys up seeing pay attention to because that looks like it's your totem animal that totem animal is going animal is going to speak to you and let you know that tower is coming in regardless regardless and your scorpio thinks that everything is fine and dandy but they're gonna have to come to the realization that they might just be walking into some fuck shit for real and they're gonna when they realize that maybe you guys don't want to be with your scorpio anymore they're gonna get really pissed off about it like really upset about it and they might end up being very mad and angry. And they might try and yell at you too. Somebody here might end up telling a Scorpio that... You guys might end up telling Scorpio, Hey, I just want you to know that I'm actually pregnant. And once you find out that you're pregnant and you tell them that you're pregnant, then it's like they're going to blame you. Well, how long have you been pregnant for? Show me the results. Show me the pregnancy test. Let's go to the doctors. Like, fuck off. She fucking told you she's pregnant. What the fuck are you asking her so many questions? And why are you stressing her the fuck out for? Like, fuck off. Fuck off. 
Anyone who's pregnant, and if you got nothing but hostility coming towards them, make sure you leave them the fuck alone. They're carrying a baby. They don't have time for your fucking t- temper tantrum or your fucking bullshit. Leave them to go have a healthy baby. Fucking weirdos. Everybody wants to stress out the, the pregnant mother. What do you mean? What are you mad about? Stop doing dumb shit then. If you don't want a fucking baby, if you don't want a, if you don't want a baby, then don't fucking be sleeping around. The fuck are you doing out here? Leave the pregnant people alone. You oh yeah, you don't okay? Yeah, they they told you that they that they was pregnant. So fuck off now. At least she gets her fucking baby. It's unfortunate she has to deal with somebody who's a, like this, who's this type of piece of shit. Like leave them alone. They're pregnant? Leave them to be pregnant. If you're going to disturb them or bother them while they're pregnant, go 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 away. Go away. Let this person have a healthy 9-month pregnancy. And you leave them the fuck alone. Five of swords. Maybe they're going to try and tell you and say something to you to get rid of your baby. This is fucked up. They're going to tell you to get make you get rid of your baby, Virgos. Yo, don't fucking do nothing that any... You're the one that's going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. If you want that baby, you go get that baby and you keep that baby to yourself. Doesn't mean that this person has to be in the, in the, in the picture. Listen, let's make it very clear out here. I know it may be very dysfunctional to raise a baby without a mother and a father... However, though, if you're a mother and you're not going to put be able to handle having a, 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 an abortion or anything like that, I suggest and I recommend that you keep your baby. You keep because you're the only one that's going to have to live with that pain for the rest of your life. While they go sleep with Michelle and Jackie and whoever the fuck else, what you're going to be the one left with that pain for the rest of your life. Do not do something because somebody decided to be reckless and careless and decided to sleep with you without knowing with, or without taking the acknowledgement that they could potentially get you pregnant so if that means you have to just okay no problem whatever the fuck what go on go on go go about your fucking day don't let nobody ever tell you to fucking go and sacrifice your baby that's fucked up oh what is this now they're now you're confused now you're trying to weigh out your options two of pentacles seven of cups you guys look like you actually go and make the appointment what the fuck virgos and then maybe somebody here is sitting here telling you guys, don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. The world card. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you guys going to do it? Angels, do they get rid of their baby? They said, no, you don't get rid of your baby. Seven of swords. You don't do it. You don't do it. You acted like you went and did it, but you actually didn't do it. That's crazy. You probably told them, okay, fine, no problem. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to do it. And then at the last second, you're like, you know what? I'm going to cancel the appointment. I'm not going to fucking do it. No, you don't do it. No, you fucking don't do it. You decide to say, you know what? I love my baby so much. I'm going to love my baby. I'm going to be there for my baby. I'm not going to hurt my baby. That baby's a part of you. That's your, that's your seed. That's your seed, Virgos. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do with your fucking body. If they don't want to be a responsible mother or father, whatever the case is, at least you go and you go have the life and have that family that you want for yourself. You're a you're a you're a you're a feminine woman. Women are magical. They can create. They can do what they want to do. Go create. Go double your bloodline. Go do what you want to do. If they don't want to be a part of it, then let them go fuck off. If you don't want to do it and have baby, that's on you. But if you want the baby, don't let anybody manipulate you to not have this baby. Sun card, you don't get the abortion. You guys keep it moving. You keep it fucking literally moving. Six of swords and you take your baby and you pack your shit and you fucking dip. You're not going to let this person bother you or stress you out while you guys are pregnant. It's not going to happen. Some of you guys are going to be having a baby boy. Congratulations, Virgos. You're defending yourself and you're also protecting yourself. They're going to be haunted and they're going to be in despair because they're not going to understand what's going on, where you're at. Did you get the baby? Did you get the baby? Did you get the abortion? They're not going to know. You're not going to tell them nothing. You're really fucking going to dip out of this situation. Three of swords. Obviously, you're going to be hurt and heartbroken, but at least you're back in your power and you're looking better than ever. This person was nothing but toxic and they're going to keep being toxic with you. They're going to just drink and party and hang out with a bunch of people. And they're going to be fighting with everybody left, right, and center. The last thing you guys want to do is end up back in this relationship with this person. And they're going to sit here and they're going to fucking physically abuse you. Right? Three of cups. Double card. If you end up back in this relationship with this person, they will abuse you, Virgos. Stay away from this fucking... What are we on? What is this reading? Virgos dealing with a Scorpio? Fuck off. You're way too strong. You're way too powerful. You're way too protected. You're just going to focus on yourself and it is what it is. Four of cups. You want nothing to do with this person. You're going to look at them like they're a fucking enemy for you. 
Anybody who doesn't respect you, respect your body, anybody who doesn't want you to have a baby when that's your seed and that's your body and doesn't want you to be a woman or a mother, you need to let everybody know exactly where they fucking stand. In the end, you do keep your baby. And if you end up back in this relationship with this person thinking that they're going to accept you and that baby, they're not. They're just going to abuse you. They're going to deteriorate you, ruin you, and ruin your fucking life. You will end up having a baby boy. Uh, Somebody will have a baby girl. And then they're saying, somebody here is going to say, they're going to say, oh yeah, you're having a baby boy. But then at the last second, it's like she turns into a girl. It's the craziest thing ever. I think it's like a one in a million type of chance. Thanks, cuties. Bye.